Our final group to speak has uh, waited a long time to be in one of these games, 1987 in fact, Eastern Michigan's last bowl trip. Uh, this team has had a tremendous season with seven victories, two of them against teams who played in conference championship games. And it's been a long road for Coach Creighton, who's up for comeback coach of the year by the American Football Coaches Association. Congratulations on being a finalist coach. And the gentlemen with him have helped uh, the Eagles make their way back and get themselves in a bowl game here as the Mid-America Conference representative. And uh, Coach Creighton is joined by defensive lineman Mike Brown and offensive lineman Cole Gardner. And at this time, Coach Creighton, if you'd like to make an opening statement. I'm sorry, thanks for being here. I uh, can't tell you how excited we are about being here in the Bahamas and having an opportunity to, to play in this bowl game. Um, we don't have enough time for me to tell you the whole story, but I will tell you that our two senior captains here, along with the rest of their senior class, basically sat in my basement on a very cold December day back in 2015 and started setting goals for this season. And again, that was after 28 years of, of not going to a bowl. And I think with a lot of focus and a lot of maturity said that our, our goal in 2016 is going to be to go to and to win a bowl game. And they not only said that, but came up with really the process by which we were going to try to achieve that goal. And that was to be going 1-0 in everything that we did from that moment forward and to be able to, to flush the, the good things that happened and to move forward and to flush the negative things that happened and, and to move forward. And it's really served us well. And so the journey has been, uh, has been long, uh, but wouldn't change it for the world. And uh, there, there's a, again, there's a lot of stories to it, but be able to be chosen by the Bahamas Bowl to be here. I mean, I can't tell you um, how deep uh, that goes with our team. Our athletic director believed in us two years ago after a 2-10 and ten season and bought our team passports, believing that our team was going to go to a bowl game and knew that it could be the Bahamas Bowl. And so you can imagine the belief uh, just even two years ago from our athletic administration and, and these guys, you know, bonding and binding together um, and to realize almost all of that goal at this point is, is truly amazing. Um, our experience here has been top-notch. Um, the hospitality uh, and just the, the first-class nature in which we've been treated. I mean, I said it the other day. I said we've been treated like kings. Uh, and, you know, at Eastern Michigan, um, you know, it, we, we haven't experienced that before. And so it's truly been a blessing. It's been an honor. Um, and I'm so proud of how our guys have, uh, have uh, you know, acted and their focus uh, while they're being here. And we're playing a great opponent tomorrow, you know, opponent that we've lost to the last two years. Don't know if you know that or not. Um, we hosted Old Dominion in the first game of the 2015 season and um, were ahead twice, but they came back in the last four minutes or so and beat us. And so it was a long time ago, but we are somewhat familiar with them and, and just think that they're a, they're a first-class organization. Um, really excited about getting to play them tomorrow in the Popeyes Bahamas Bowl. So thanks for being here, and, and thanks for the experience that you've given us already. Thank you, Coach. Uh, we'll open up the questions for the players, but the first question we want to ask is we did with Old Dominion. You guys have been here for the last couple of days. What's been your favorite part of the week being here in the Bahamas? Just flying in. I mean, I've never seen an ocean before in person. So the plane just going over the ocean, seeing the different blue colors of the ocean, that was just the start of it. I was like, wow, this is really amazing. And then just arriving at the hotel, seeing Atlantis. Um, Cole and I got a chance to swim with dolphins, which was like once in a lifetime thing for us. And Coach Creighton was there. It was a really fun, fun experience. Um, you know, just being with the guys. I mean, we set, like Coach said, we set out a goal to come to a bowl game. We didn't know if it was going to be the Bahamas Bowl. We didn't know where we were going to play at. But it's just been an awesome experience just being with the, the players we play with and the guys that we set out to, to get this goal with. Yeah, like Mike said, I mean, there's, there's more than one thing that I can think of that's been just incredible. Um, it's my first time in the Bahamas and enjoying it, heard all these great things. So being able to come here and experience it and then do it with my brothers who, you know, we're about to go play a football game. Um, it's been incredible. Like Mike said, the Dolphins. I mean, it, it was once in a lifetime opportunity. Those guys, I mean, the Dolphins are huge, and you don't really realize it until you get there and you see them. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. 
Um, but then also being able to impact the community, going out and, uh, you know, yesterday I did a, a clinic with them, like a football clinic, and you went to a, a house. So being able to impact the community and, and driving through, I mean, you see just, you know, you see what the, the island's like and just you get a, you know, get a grasp for what you're, you, you know, you have and it just makes you think, wow, you know, you, you're lucky. But being able to impact those people is it's huge. Questions for our student athletes or head coach? Um, I think you just remember that, you know, they were close games, so, you know, you got to have a battle the whole time. It's going to be a, a close game. Um, both teams have improved, obviously, the last couple of years. So, you know, it's going to be a hard-fought hard battle the whole game, and, you know, it's what, it's what we want. You know, you want a good game. You want to have a, you know, a fight with your brothers where it's going it's to come down to the wire. Yeah, just kind of piggyback off of what Cole said. Um, the last two games have, were close games, and we're expecting this game to be another close game. And... Old Dominion's a, a they're a pretty good football team. They're not nine and three on accident, so we're gonna come in here and expect it to be a battle. We're gonna go out here and expect to be in a close game and come out on top. Um, they were just excited for us, you know. Um, all year they've been on, you know, behind our, behind us, and just cheering us on. And, you know, in class you'll have students coming up and congratulating you on the game. You have teachers, all that stuff. But you know, the, the body was just excited. The whole student body was just thrilled that we had this opportunity that we were getting there. And you could see the hope. You know, people were, you know, believing in us, and that that's huge. You know, we've had some down years in the last couple of years, and you don't see it as much. And now everyone's starting to believe and and seeing what we, you know, we knew we could do. And uh, that was huge to have the student body behind us. Well, you know, it's a great question. I'm relying on, on these guys, you know, in our senior class. I mean, these, these guys have been here for five years, and you know, they're grown men, um, and, and they get it. And so, um, you know, I, I laid on the beach and played with my kids. You know, we have done a really good job of compartmentalizing the football um, and then enjoying being here. And so we just have talked about, just like we have on all of our road trips, you know, we have successful road trips when, you know, you might be going somewhere for the first time and seeing a different part of the country. If you know why you're going, then everything is kept into, into the correct perspective. And I tell our guys, you don't have to bang your head against the wall on Friday night. You know, some guys start getting ready then, but, you know, not everybody is banging their he head against the wall on Friday night. Um, but you have to know when to flip the switch and you have to be able to be able to be focused and mentally into it. And so we just said this is going to be a longer road trip. And so when we're doing football, we've got to be completely locked in and we've got to practice hard, practice well um, and, and be focused. But when we're away, enjoy it. Um, don't do anything that is going to be counter to what we're trying to accomplish you know, on Friday, so, you know, our guys have been getting good night's rest. They've been hydrating. We've been eating well, um, but at the same time enjoying themselves, um, you know, in, in the property in this beautiful country. So um, I'm really proud of how we've handled it so far. Um, you know, I've been just putting sunscreen on. I'm, I, honestly, uh, at practice, it's a little harder. You know, you're just sweating it. Um, but when we're out and about, you know, you have it on. Um, you got to know that, you know, we're here to enjoy the place. And, you know, everything's beautiful in the sun. But you also got to know when you put those shoulder pads on, you don't want it to hurt. So you got to be able to take care of your body a little bit and understand that, you know, I might not go back with the greatest tan, but the goal is to go back with a trophy and, you know, and a ring and, and the, the bowl game. So. Yeah, I'm just I'm thankful for the opportunity to get sunburned because Michigan was really cold before we left. So I mean, I'd I'd rather be sunburned than frozen. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. Uh, two quick notes. What's nice on the on the uniforms? You see the Popeyes Bahamas Bowl patch. Two things we've done this year to help 
bring this game a little bit closer to the Bahamas is each team's helmet for both Old Dominion and Eastern Michigan carries both the American flag and the Bahamas flag on the back. You'll see that tomorrow at the game. Also, the trophy to my right has been renamed as the Prime Minister's Trophy. Prime Minister Christie honored us last year in awarding the trophy to Western Michigan. Uh, and in that honor and in honoring the country, uh, we've renamed it to the highest office in the land. And we're very proud to have that trophy carry that name. And we're very proud of these two teams, which will give us a great game tomorrow. Coach Creighton, gentlemen, we wish you the best tomorrow in the game against Old Dominion. Thank you so much, and then thank you for a great week. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.